Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and today's Easter. So happy Easter if you guys see this. I just kind of snuck out of our family thing so I could get back here and film this real quick, which I know I need to finish Return to Fat Camp, but it's just not as damn interesting without Petey. So I know I'm at 28 minutes and 14 seconds, so I plan on finishing it. Don't come for me. But I got a short one because I just want to kind of get a video for you guys. I hate not giving you something every single day. And uh, yeah, I didn't have anything for tomorrow already filmed. So I got to film something. So we got a short one. My 600 pound heart wrenching moments. Which, you know, should be interesting. Let's check it out. Before we start, I'd like you to do me a little favor and hit that red subscribe button so you Ooh, never yeah, have do to that. miss out on any more videos we put on our own channel. My 600 pound life is a show that deals with morbidly obese people turning no. their lives around. Although some episodes end on a positive note, there are- Oh yeah, about that subscribe button thing, I remember that I made you guys this promise a long time ago, but I'm still gonna do it. When I hit 10,000, I'm still gonna do this one chip challenge thing. That thing's been chilling for years, I ain't never touched it, but that thing's gonna tear me up. So I'm kind of regretting that I promised it. But somebody's not going to let me forget it, so I'll just remind you, when I hit 10k, I am going to do it. There are some moments where the characters' struggles are so tragic that the viewers are Ooh. left devastated. Here's the a ice list of such good, heart-wrenching <laughs> moments. Number 5. Robert Bouchel. When Robert appeared on the show, he weighed over 850 pounds and was addicted to painkillers. With the love and... The addiction to painkillers is, it kind of goes hand in hand with that weight. You're in a ton of pain at that size. So I could see why he is, but a lot of people, you know, uh, just struggle with that. It's easy to kind of mask the pain and it kind of masks, you know, probably depressed, whatever, but a lot of people end up going that route at that size. In support of his fiance, as well as his mother, he agreed to get surgery to remove a mask from his body. After surgery, he lost him. Also, you see the way he's like melting into the bed as it just flips? My damn love handles, man. These things be driving me crazy because it feels like I'm like a blob on the bed. That shit drives me nuts, but it just comes with losing that much weight, I guess. Miraculous weight of 350 pounds and was well on his way to make a full recovery. Unfortunately, okay. his removal reignited his addiction, causing him to tear up his stitches just so he could get more medicine. Sadly, oh. by the end of the episode, it was revealed that Robert had passed away due to a heart attack in November 2000. That's sad, but clearly that wasn't just all, like, it was something mental going on. I know a lot of people call addiction a, men a mental disease, but he clearly had some demons he was battling, and if that's what set him off, because a lot of people are in less pain the more weight they lose. I know I'm in a hell of a lot less pain, but yeah, so something mentally was struggling, this guy was struggling with, I guess. 17. Number four, so the Asante brothers. In one episode, the show had to deal the with infamous two overweight Asantes. brothers named Justin and Stephen Asante. One of the issues besides being overweight was the bullying dealt by Stephen to his brother, along with- See, I don't get that. How is that, that guy bullying you? Because honest to God, he is not getting up and chasing you. Maybe like verbally, but you just piece that guy up. Throw some cold water on his ass. If he really keeps talking, like, you got all kinds of am like ammo you could do to this man. You could do what he did to the nurses in that one episode and just chuck pee on him. What's he going to do about it? So you could be just as abusive. I know that's not the right way to go about it. But I'm King Petty when it comes to something like that. You keep coming for me, I'm coming for you. That When Doctor Now advised him to follow a strict diet, Stephen defied his orders and continued to eat unhealthy food behind his back. He had no. the bad habit of manipulating people around him and was also addicted to painkillers. This entire saga of the two brothers ended with Justin quitting the doctor's program, citing a lack of support oh. from the show and bullying from his brother. I didn't realize that his brother quit. In my head, I thought his brother lost the weight. Now I know Steven's going through some stuff. I even saw this one guy's video where Steven's going through a lot. He was rocking the meth mouth and everything. Like his teeth were falling out, his hair was gone, his wife was gone, which, she was a good looking lady. I don't understand that one, but hey, to each their own lady. I don't know. You like an abusive pee throwing like theater fan. I don't know what you like. I am not here to kink shame, but this guy's real, real peach. This left the viewers heartbroken as Justin was the victim in this entire scenario. Number three, Sean Milliken. When Sean hey, was he spells it right on the show, he weighed an astounding 900 pounds. 
Even though his weight loss journey had been hard, he was steadily losing weight by following the advice of his doctor due to his- Damn. This guy beat me. He was at nine. I only made it to six. Now I'm jealous. I need to catch him. You guys think I could catch him still? Nah, maybe, nah, mm, I don't want to. His weight, he was unable to walk on his own. But after he had surgery, he started to stand on his own two feet. Things were going smoothly until 2018 when That's his great. mother passed away. This oh. loss was felt by Sean practically hard as his mother was his main supporter and the one who convinced him to lose weight. Thank God I still have both my parents, but when that happens to me, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. I mean, my dad's going through some stuff right now, not like physically, it's more mental, like his memory is starting to slip on him a lot. But I took him to get blood work done the other day, and I called his neurologist, and I scheduled his follow-up because he was kind of blowing it off and pretending it was nothing. But it's getting pretty bad with my dad. Like, he, I don't know, had a rental car, and he was trying to put his, old, like, Toyota key into a Hyundai and start it and couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start. So, mentally, my dad's going through some stuff, and it's tearing me up inside. I absolutely hate it. After her death, he even had to move out of her apartment. Unfortunately, he didn't proceed any further with his weight loss journey, and in February of 2019, he passed away due to complications from an infection. He was only 29 years old when he died, and his death Damn, left 29? the audience absolutely crushed. But with an infection at that size, like, you're really rolling the dice. Like, you are gambling with your life every day pretty much at that size. So if you get an infection and say he might have been diabetic or something, like, it's just a huge struggle to even fight that off for your body, so. Number two, Penny I Sager. remember this, wench. Penny Sager came onto the show and carefully listened to the advice of Dr. Now. After being on a controlled diet for some time, she eventually lost 40 pounds. Did she? This loss caused the doctor to approve her gastric bypass surgery. Oh, yeah, she's the one that, like got the surgery and somehow managed to gain weight, which is impressive without ripping your stomach open. Cause to this day, a year and a half later, I can still barely eat. Like I'm not pushing it though. I'm so careful not to stretch mine out. Somebody commented the other day, they give me a year for keeping the weight off. And then I said something about swimming and somebody said, if I get ate by a shark, I'm gonna give them diabetes. I wish I thought of that one. That's a pretty good joke. But I would have said something about my sweet ass giving them a cavity or something, but. Things went really wrong after that. When she was done with her surgery, she gained an additional five pounds. This made it obvious that <laughs> I'm she the had king food of random. brought to her behind Dr. Now's <sighs> back. After some disagreements, she moved back to her hometown of Maryland from Houston. Hey, Maryland, let's go. Well, we don't claim you. I'm from Maryland, though. So Maryland's friggin' awesome when it comes to me, but we ain't claiming Penny. We leaving her. At the end of the episode, Dr. Now strictly stated that her addiction to eating will be the cause of her death. She Probably. never came back to the show, and that was the last the audience saw of her. Number one, Kelly Mason. Kelly Mason I was in dire need of medical help. Along with her being overweight, she had a whole host of other health issues, which included high blood pressure, a blood cloth in her leg, type 2 diabetes, thyroid problems, reflex... I somehow dodged a bullet. I still don't know how I was, like, not diabetic. It's on both sides of my family. Like, it was coming at me from both sides, and I somehow just didn't end up diabetic. My cousin's skinny as a damn rail. They're diabetic. But, yeah, they said I had high blood pressure at one point, and then they realized that I'm just fat. If I walk across the room, my blood pressure spikes. If I sit down, it's perfectly fine. My blood pressure isn't high. And I actually was, when I had my kidney failure, it was for taking ibuprofen and lisinopril while I was dehydrated and it shut my kidneys off like that. At least that's what they told me. ...and heart problems to name a few. During her admittance in the hospital, she managed to lose around 200 pounds with the help of a strict diet. After that, that's she kinda, had weight that's a loss lot. surgery and wound up losing another 100 pounds. All in all, her life had never been better and she went yeah. home eventually after a little while. After some time had passed, in February of 2019, the show went to interview her and get updates on her health. Unfortunately, during filming, one night she had a heart attack and passed away in her- Oh no, she had a heart attack during her update filming? That's insane. Oh, holy shit, that's wild. She did all this work 
and she doesn't even get to like live her life but i guess her body had just taken a lot of abuse over the years that's something i was worried about like have i already damaged myself and every time a test came back and said well this is good this organ's fine i was like you guys can't be talking about the same person but thank god Somehow I'm 34 and I feel like I'm just starting my life now. Her sleep. This was and a I'm huge good. blow to the audience who had been inspired by her resilience and determination. The events described above were just a few mm. which have occurred in the life of the show. Even though the people on the show worked really hard to get where they wanted to be, Ugh. one thing or the other got in their way. This is life. It has its ups and downs, but mm. life, as they say, goes on. This brings us to the closing of another video, which we're pretty sure that you got. That's sad. I mean, a lot of these people actually lost some weight and then ended up, you know, passing away. This is a lot of deaths. It shouldn't have just said heart-wrenching moments. It should have been, like, deaths. And the Asante brothers on here, like, they didn't even catch up to them at all. I saw Stevens down bad and doing real bad. But this is sad, and this is just the reality of it. If you're that weight and you don't start trying to change, like, your body can't handle it. And even sometimes when you do change, it's too late. Your body's already taken the damage, and it's already too late, which is sad, man. But hopefully that's not my story. I'm feeling better than ever at my weight. So 315, I still got 65 to go to my goal. But all right, guys, I had to film something real quick for you guys on Easter. But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.